Quite frankly, we're buzzing because 2025 has some really cool surprises for us car lovers. You won't believe number 10 when you see it. Number 1. Genesis GV80 The 2025 Genesis GV80 is rolling out with some cool upgrades and fresh gear that's worth looking forward to in 2025. First off, the beast under the hood just got beefier. The twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 will produce 390 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque in 2025, which is about 5 horsepowers more than the 2024 model. The other engine, the turbocharged inline-4, also gets 4 more horsepower for a total of 304. It's not much, but it is something. The previous twin-turbo V6 would go from 0 to 60 in about 5.3 seconds, while the smaller turbo-4 would need 6.1 seconds to hit that at 60 miles an hour mark. We expect the 2025 Genesis to be virtually the same, if not better. Apart from the power increase, the 2025 Genesis GV80 will also get a new grille and the micro lens array headlamps from the G90 sedan. There are new 20-inch and 22-inch wheel options to choose from and a brand new color that they call Store Green. Inside, you'll get treated to a massive 26-inch wide touchscreen that merges the gauge cluster and infotainment display into one sleek package. For 2025, Genesis are spicy up the interior with three new color schemes, Earth Brown, Bordeaux Brown, and Glacier White. But the biggest news is the Genesis GV80 Coupe, which will make its grand entrance in the 2026 GV80 lineup. It'll rock a fastback roofline and a more aggressive design, inspired by that orange GV80 Coupe Genesis presented by Genesis in April last year. It had some massive 23-inch wheels and a bold silhouette, and the 2025 GV80 Coupe will follow that design aesthetic. Genesis might not be a brand you think of for superb design aesthetics, but the GV80 is coming to change that. Under the hood, you get the same 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder or the beefier V6 as on the normal GV80, but apparently Genesis will introduce another beefed-up variant of the V6 that'll make 409 horsepower, helped by an electric supercharger. All three engines should pair with an 8-speed automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive. In addition to the normal GV80, the coupe model will also get a new Sport Plus driving mode that should deliver a more engaging ride. Expected to be priced between seventy dollars and $80,000, depending on configurations and options, the GV80 Coupe is set to offer familiar Genesis luxury and trim levels, including advanced and prestige. Number 2. 2025 Honda CRV Fuel Cell The upcoming 2025 Honda CRV Fuel Cell is set to make waves next year as one of only three hydrogen-powered electric vehicles available in the United States. For those of you who don't know, Honda tried something similar back in 2021 with the Clarity Fuel Cell sedan. It didn't really work. However, this time, they seemed to take a different route and betted all on their most popular model, the CRV, for this new hydrogen venture. While the exact details of the CRV fuel cell are still under wraps, we expect it to follow closely the design and styling cues of its gas powered counterpart. According to the latest news from Honda, the CRV fuel cell will feature two hydrogen tanks at the rear and a power unit positioned under the seat with the fuel cell system and drive unit mounted under the hood. The fuel cell unit will basically convert compressed hydrogen fuel into electricity, and it will power an electric motor. Moreover, you can also plug in the car and juice up a small battery pack that will supply some more power to the electric motor. The power unit is currently being built in Michigan as part of a joint venture between Honda and General Motors. At the moment, this is all the information we have on the new hydrogen vehicle from Honda. One other thing you should keep in mind is that, at the moment, California is mainly the only U.S. state that has a sort of hydrogen fueling infrastructure, which is crucial for driving a hydrogen car. So chances are the Honda CRV fuel cell version will only be available in California, but we'll see. Number 3. 2025 Jeep Wagoneer S Set to electrify the North American roads in 2025, the Jeep Wagoneer S will roll alongside the Recon EV as the first two electrified Jeeps ever launched on the U.S. market. Breaking away from its hybrid siblings, the Wrangler 4XE and Grand Cherokee 4XE, the Wagoneer S goes all in on electric power, promising an impressive 400-mile range per charge. Moreover, initial reports suggest an exciting 600-horsepower powertrain that could sprint to 60 miles an hour in a mere three and a half seconds. The launch of the Wagoneer S will be a game-changer for the legendary off-road automotive manufacturer, as they expect EVs to make up half of their sales in the U.S. by 2030. In terms of design and features, we expect the Wagoneer S to blend the old with the new, drawing inspiration from the brand's current gas-powered models but featuring some sleek, modern, electrified elements such as a light-up grille. Built on the cutting-edge STLA large platform with an 800-volt setup, the Wagoneer S is expected to feature a dual-motor all-wheel drive setup. Inside, we might find up to three touchscreens, luxurious materials, stitched door surfaces, ambient lighting, and a panoramic sunroof as standard. 
Number 4. Mazda CX-70 For 2025, Mazda will introduce the brand new CX-70 nameplate. Critics would say that the new CX-70 is nothing but a two-row version of the CX-90, but that Mazda is trying to market as a different midsize SUV model. Well, that doesn't mean that the CX-70 doesn't deserve the spotlight. The CX-70 will have a blacked-out exterior trim and a new wheel design that will differentiate it from the CX-90. Mazda is also adding Amazon Alexa integration and an underfloor storage compartment in the cargo area. Under the hood of the non-hybrid CX-70, you'll find a turbocharged 3.3-liter inline-six engine, delivering 280 horsepower in base trim or 340 horsepower in the S trims. This engine can obviously be found in the CX-90 as well, where it had already impressed with its performance and smooth operation. 0 to 60 happened in about 6.3 seconds in the CX-90, so we expect the CX-70 to be a bit quicker given its lighter weight. If you're looking for a hybrid version, don't worry, Mazda's got you covered. The CX-90 will also come with a plug-in hybrid powertrain, combining a 2.5-liter four-cylinder with an electric motor for a total of 323 ponies. In the CX-90 configuration, this engine could sprint from 0 to 60 in under six seconds. We believe the CX-70 Hybrid will be even quicker. Equipped with a 17.8 kilowatt hour battery pack, the system can be recharged from 20% to 80% in approximately 90 minutes when connected to a 240 volt source. The CX-90 Hybrid could deliver around 25 to 30 miles of pure electric range, and the CX-70 should do the same or even better. Number five, Toyota MR2. The original MR2 made waves as Japan's first rear mid-engined car and quickly became a classic. It handled brilliantly. It was engaging. It was fun. It was a true driver's car, all without breaking the bank or sacrificing too much day-to-day -day practicality. In its 23 years of existence, from its debut in 1984 to its last hurrah in 2007, the MR2 became quite a legend. Now, whispers and rumors around town hint at a fourth generation ready to hit the U.S. markets in 2025. According to Japanese reports, the 2025 MR2 would sport a mid-mounted, turbocharged, one-liter, three-cylinder engine, making between 120 and 150 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque. While it might not sound like a powerhouse, you should know that the previous MR2's appeal has never relied on brute power, and that was still a hit. Number 6. 2025 Hyundai Ioniq 7 Hyundai is currently turning heads with their 2025 Ioniq 7 concept, which looks more like a living space on wheels. It's an electric SUV with the space of a three-row palisade, built on the innovative eGMP platform, which is essentially the backbone for the Iconic 5 and all the future Hyundai and Kia electric vehicles. The Ioniq concept is all about pushing boundaries with its futuristic look, standout lighting, dynamic wheels, and huge glass panels that let you gaze at the sky all day long. Hyundai is actually really aiming for the stars with the Ioniq 7, promising a range of over 300 miles and the ability to charge the batteries from 10% to 80% in just 20 minutes. When you step inside the Ioniq concept, the massive doors swing open wide to seats that look like out of a futuristic living room. The concept Ioniq 7 also features a retractable controlling stick instead of a steering wheel, a built-in mini fridge and compartments to refresh the passenger's footwear. But wait, there's more! The panoramic roof is not just a roof, it's actually an OLED screen that can display user-requested content or change the interior your atmosphere to something relaxing. How about that? Of course, many of these outlandish details won't make it onto the production model of the 2025 Hyundai Ioniq 7, but still, it speaks of a future that might not be that far away now. Number 7. 2025 Ram 1500 Ram Charger Hybrid The Ram Charger badge is making a comeback for 2025, this time in a savvy plug-in hybrid form, with Ram's alternate logo that glows as the vehicle charges. The 2025 Ram 1500 Ram Charger is definitely a nod to its rugged predecessors from the 80s, but with with a high-tech heartbeat that places it somewhere between an F-150 hybrid and an electric Rivian R1T. It boasts an all-wheel drive setup that cranks out an impressive 663 horsepower and 615 pound-feet of torque, thanks to a combination of electric motors and a gas-powered V6. Ram also estimates up to 145 miles on electric power only. And here's the catch. The Ram Charger is not your run-of-the-mill plug-in hybrid you'd expect. The 3.6-liter V6 engine doesn't drive any axles. It actually extends the Ram Charger's battery pack by powering a generator that converts the energy produced by the gas into electricity. The battery is then juicing up the front and rear electric motors that deliver the power to the wheels. This setup will get the Ram from 0 to 60 in about 4.4 seconds.
Like the Ram 1500, the Ram Charger will ride on a body-on-frame platform. Number 8, 2025 Chevrolet Suburban. Chevy's largest SUV just got a major interior and exterior overhaul for 2025, boasting a massive 17.7-inch infotainment screen that's now standard across the board, a new 11-inch digital dashboard along with advanced towing assist features to make hauling a breeze. Moreover, Chevrolet makes the GM Super Cruise hands-free driving system more widely available on the Suburban. On the outside, you get new wheel designs, including some eye-catching 24-inch rollers and a nice overall style refresh. The chassis has also been tweaked to provide a smoother ride and sharper handling. Under the hood, the optional diesel inline six has been fine-tuned for more power, now delivering 305 horsepower and an impressive 495 pound-feet of torque. You also have the option of a 355 horsepower 5.3 liter V8 or a more powerful 420 horsepower 6.2 liter V8. The power is delivered to the rear or all wheels through a smooth 10-speed automatic transmission. With the basic V8, zero to 60 will take about 7.6 seconds. Off-road enthusiasts will love the Z71 trim, which features 20-inch wheels with all-terrain tires, underbody skid plates for extra protection, and a two-speed transfer case for authentic four-wheel drive capabilities. Number 9. 2025 Porsche Taycan The 2025 Taycan is rolling out with a sleek, stylish refresh on the front bumper, headlamps, fenders, and taillights. But the real excitement comes from what's under the hood. Porsche's been hard at work extending the Taycan's DC fast charging capabilities. The 2025 model should charge from 8 to 80% in under 17 minutes, with a charging speed of up to 327 kilowatts. But Porsche didn't stop there. They also beefed up the standard battery pack to 83.6 kilowatts, offering a 97 kilowatt option as part of their performance battery pack, which is also lighter. Porsche has done some tweaks and mounted a lighter rear electric motor as well. This combination of larger batteries and less curb weight should improve the range estimates, but we're still waiting on some official numbers on that front. Moreover, Porsche has also teased a more powerful 2025 model that could wear the Turbo GT badge and lap the Nürburgring like a madman. That makes you wonder, how much faster could a Taycan get? Well, except for the base model, which is powered by a single rear electric engine, all other Taycan models feature a dual motor setup, with one powering the front wheels and another powering the rears. While Porsche is keeping the horsepower details of most 2025 models under wraps for now, they have let slip that the Turbo S can unleash up to 938 horsepower when you engage its launch control feature. Even without this boost, you're looking at a formidable 764 horsepower. And that Turbo GT we were talking about, that's supposed to break the 1000 horsepower barrier setting a new benchmark for electric power. Every Taycan model benefits from a two-speed direct drive transmission, which works wonders for the car's blistering acceleration and range. Standard on all models is an air spring suspension system, with the option to upgrade to adaptive dampers for all-wheel drive variants. The Taycan is a real gem on the electric vehicle market. It's got a sexy, low-slung driving stance, engaging steering, and razor-sharp handling, something that makes it really fun to drive and really comfortable at the same time. And when it comes to zero to 60 times, it gets even more fun. For 2025, Porsche has made some more improvements to all the Taycan's electric motors. These improvements are supposed to boost performance, and the company claims that the very basic rear-wheel drive Taycan can now hit 60 miles an hour in under four and a half seconds. The Turbo S should do that in 2.3 seconds. Fun times ahead. Number 10, Chevy Corvette SUV. Imagine a Corvette, but as an SUV. No, it's not impossible. Lamborghini did it a long time ago. Ferrari just did it. Why wouldn't a Chevy Corvette do it? Well, after a lot of thinking it over, General Motors is jumping on the same performance SUV bandwagon, stretching the iconic Corvette name to include more than just a classic two-seater sports car. Reports suggest that the new Corvette SUV will be built on the Alpha platform, the same one that's behind the Camaro or the Cadillac CT4V. This means that the Corvette SUV will be a blast to drive and maybe even come in two different size configurations, like Porsche does with their Macan and Cayenne models. If General Motors decides to put the Corvette SUV up against the Macan, it should give it a base engine of over 300 horsepower and a beefier V6 with around 400 horsepower. If they want to pin it against the Cayenne, the Corvette SUV should feature a twin-turbo V6 and possibly a roaring 6.2-liter V8 with 500 horsepower. But wait, what about the Escalade V's supercharged V8 pumping out 682 horsepower? Would that fit under the new Corvette SUV's hood? It should. The Corvette SUV will surely have a smooth 10-speed automatic gearbox. The Corvette SUV will surely have a smooth 10-speed automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive as standard. All these goodies together would still be way more affordable than the Porsche rivals. With a starting price of about $60,000, 2025 can't come fast enough.